column charts are great for making comparisons between different categories. To set up your data, you'll write your category type. I looked at different cities and measured how much rain and snow falls in each one, so my category would be cities. Then you can list all the categories that you measured. For me, that's listing out each city. Next, you can label what you measured for each category. You want your label to be very clear and precise, so instead of writing rainfall, which is pretty generic, I'll write exactly what I measured, like average annual rainfall measured in inches. Remember to include the units that you measured in. Otherwise, someone could think you measured in feet or centimeters and misinterpret your data. You can add as many measurements as you like for each category. For my experiment, I also researched the amount of snowfall in each city, so I'll add a new column for that data. Then I'll add in the values of each category for each measurement. Once your data is in the spreadsheet, you're ready to make your chart. If you want a head start on your chart, try clicking the Explore button on the lower right of the screen. If you scroll through Google's suggestions, you might see a column chart that you'd like to use. If so, you can click and drag to add it to your sheet, and then you use the three dots on the top right of the chart to edit, and then you'll go to the sidebar where you can customize the look and feel. Sometimes the Explore section will not have the kind of chart you want to use. In that case, you can select your data, including the labels, and go to Insert Chart. Google will guess which kind of chart you want, but if they don't get it right, you can change it in the drop-down box under Chart Type. A bar chart lets you display the data side to side instead of up and down, and the stacked column chart combines all of your series into one tall column for each category instead of putting each measurement side by side. So for my data, that could help me show how the total amount of precipitation varied across cities, and it helps me see how much of the precipitation in each city was made up of snow versus rain. After you pick your chart type, you can do some pretty cool customizations. I made all these charts from the exact same data. The only difference is the way I formatted my chart in this chart editor. So let's take a look at all our styling options. Chart style lets us change the background color, choose a font, and even make our columns 3D. The chart and axis titles is where we can change the wording of our title. Pick a title that's really clear to your audience so they'll know exactly what your chart is about. Then you can make it bold or change the font. If you want to edit the title of the X or the Y axis, just change the type to a different title in the drop-down. Series lets you add data labels. You can edit one series at a time by changing the Apply To drop-down, and here's where you could change the color. The Legend section lets you move your data legend. For my chart, I'm going to move it from the side to the bottom. Each axis has its own section for styling the category labels and data labels. This is where you could change the text color of the categories. And under the vertical axis, it would let you specify the minimum and maximum values for your data if you'd like to show a specific range. Grid lines is where you would update the lines in the back of the chart that help you see how high each column is. So that's how you make the column chart in Google Sheets. If you want a head start on creating your own column chart, you can use the Google Sheets file that I used for this video. You can find the link in the description. And also, you can check out our video for making this column chart in Excel. We also have videos about making different kinds of charts in Google Sheets. And subscribe to our channel for more chart tutorials and other tips for Google Sheets and for Excel.